Here's where I'm at with the rat chopper. It's been a couple days since the first video. I ditched the shovel idea for the seat, as you can see. I cut some foam for it and was going to do it. And then once you have this on there with leather over it and everything, you know, it looks good while it's just sitting on it, but you can't see that it's a shovel. Once it's like that, it just looks like a horrible seat. So I made sort of a, a 70s chopper style seat frame that I'm not sure how I'll upholster yet, but that's the frame done. And uh, I made it pivoting with a little bit of suspension in here, just a piece of of uh, coil spring from something, pretty soft coil spring, because it's a hard tail and it would be super harsh otherwise. I made this hinging mechanism here, uh, it has a couple of open end wrenches in there as your hinge pieces, and I'm not sure what this is, I drilled it so it would be oilable on the uh, pivot in there, but one sheet metal screw to hold the front and it the bike had a bolt hole right there, threaded, and I found a bolt that would go through and there was already a hole right there in the thing, so I love it when stuff works out perfectly like that. I cut the back of the fender and, yeah, I don't know, kind of a cool shape. I might change it or pinstripe more on it later just so I could get the wheel and tire out of here if I need to. I put a stud on for a kickstand and put on a fancy Sportster Harley kickstand that I had sitting around. Tanks mounted, found this weird cool aluminum wing nut thing and a couple of springs as spacers that would fit and this loop bolt, I thought that was cool and I'll probably just have something sort of tied down around here so that you can lift this if you need to and I'll put some kind of a padding underneath here so that we don't scrape holes in the bottom of our mint gas tank here. I can actually sit on it now and it feels like motorcycle for the first time. I'm still looking for motors. I'm thinking about maybe a snowmobile engine uh, with the CVT belts out this side, back to the jack shaft over to this side, a couple pillow block bearings supported in the middle, and then that would go back to the sprocket. I've lost my camera light. Phone's dying. Guess that's the end of the video, guys. Talk to you next time.